Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, everyone, and thanks for joining me for another watch face review. Now, in today's show, I have a brand new design to share with you from our friends at Red Garter. And this one is the fourth iteration in this very bold and sporty looking series called Fade to Dark. And you can't really go wrong with any of the versions in this series. The main difference though between them is the configuration of the information, or simply put, the layout. Now this one is strictly a review today, but basically for just over a dollar in cost, you can't really go wrong, especially when you see the level of detail the developers put into this one. So stick around and I'll show you a little bit more. All right, guys, here we go with Regarder's newest design, and right out of the gate, you're greeted with this highly detailed 3D-like appearance to it. The developer's done really a great job here of incorporating different shading and shadow effects around those display areas and frames, and that's why you get this perception of depth to the design, and of course, that very bold look. Now, for the rest of your display information, well, you have the majority of the information shown over on the right-hand side in one of three of those display areas, starting with your power remaining shown at the top, then you got your last recorded heart rate shown at the bottom, and then in that larger display area over in the three position is your total steps count and goal. And by the way, you also have a heart rate intensity zone indicator there as well, which is going to change color based on your last measurement. So as your heart rate increases, then it's going to change from green to yellow to red. And as you can see, you can change up the colors for your power and step displays, which along with all those great colors and textures for your background themes, mean you can pick some really contrasting and eye-catching combinations here. And lastly, you get a total of seven app shortcuts preloaded on this model, with three being assigned to your heart rate, alarm, and as health, and the remaining four launchers are all customizable. All right, guys, that's my review of this newest design from Regarder called Fade to Dark version four. And this one is just over a dollar in the app store. So it's definitely not going to break the bank and supporting the developers with a purchase and review is always appreciated, especially when you consider how many free goodies they give to all of us. Thanks again for watching our review and supporting the channel. And don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button before you leave. I'll see you all in our next video. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.